To make great wine, you need a great crew in the cellar. And that's what I've got at Laird. People I can trust, people I can count on to get the job done, who care about what they're doing. It all happens at Laird. Well, my dad did grow up in a family of farmers. Rode mules, you know, the whole bit when it was time to harvest tobacco. And we'd, uh... We'd cure the tobacco in the barns at night with a fire and tell ghost stories and that's how I got my start and that's the thing that, that always excited me about life. So I think no matter what I've done in the corporate world, I always wanted to return back to, to this way of life. The winery was built um, as a place to take our own unsold fruit and we built it far larger than we thought we should in case other growers or brands also needed a home. The people at Laird have been great. I've been here for 10 years now. I've worked in a lot of different custom crush facilities and I wouldn't be here for 10 years with my wines as well as Klein's wines if I didn't think they were the best. I think that the place that Laird uh, really shines and perhaps outshines a lot of their, their competition in the custom crush world is um, their management of their personnel. I've been a client of theirs since they opened in 1999 and many of the people that were their new staff members in 1999 are still there all these years later. The guys work as a, as a really tight-knit team and the results show. Between my two production managers and my two seller masters, we probably have about 90 years of experience making wine and, and, and 90 years of crush. Judy and I both come from winemaking backgrounds and from the seller side of winemaking and we really care about how the wine is made. Both Chris Benz and myself are winemakers and in addition to all the other winemakers that are here, we can help people and, and comment and make, have ideas and we do a lot of like brainstorming with all of our clients. Sometimes they'll just walk in our office and go, I don't know what I want to do or how to do this and we'll come up with ideas or we'll ask other people. We have um, learned from our clients how specifically they want their wines made and we pass that information and the reasons why we want to do it their specific way onto our crew. We spend a lot of time training our crew and we've gotten a lot of compliments about not only what a good job they do, but about their understanding of why they're doing that job. I have 28 uh, harvests here in, in Napa Valley, and most of those, about 20 of those, are as a consultant. So you learn what makes a good custom crush facility. I require any client that I deal with nowadays, they must come to Laird. I'm not going to go work anywhere else. Uh, it's just, it's proven over the last 10 years of custom crush for me to be, be the best place I need to be. You know, every winemaker's got his or her own personal philosophies about how to make the best wine, and uh, we're all different. I mean, there's no one way to get to that perfect uh, result. So, what I find really uh, helpful at Laird is that they don't question me because so-and-so makes it one way, and this one makes it another way. They say to me, oh, this is the way you do it? Fine. We're going to take your instructions and we're going to make the wine the way you want it. And that is something that is invaluable. We work very hard, Chris and I and the Cellar Masters, to train our people, to work with our people so that they understand each and ind every individual client and their needs. We write protocols according to what you need. We do what you want us to do and we make sure that we're taking care of your wine just like it was our own little baby that we, that we were trying to raise. At Laird I've got what I would call a winemaker's dream team. Not only do I have really great help in the cellar uh, using top-of-the-line equipment to move my wine around, but also I've got a fabulous lab, two lab technicians who give me everything I need to know just what the numbers are. They're able to analyze hundreds of samples a day as well as do special requests for our client winemakers. As we run your analysis, the same day you will receive your analysis via email and we'll also put a hard copy in your box for you. So you are constantly up to date with your analysis. Most winemakers you run into, we like being the seller and we like being the vineyard. Putting us in front of a computer, in front of paperwork is like a nightmare. 
Uh, my wife, God bless her, is in economics, so she handles all that for me, and Laird handles everything here. It's the idea of doing that is just like pulling teeth to me. Bottling for most winemakers is the biggest challenge, but we want it to be a good experience for our clients. We're able to help them with the bottling by doing extensive QC on the wine and the package at the start of bottling. We want every bottle to be perfect. We have people that double check what you've asked us to do. We have people that double check our work that we've put on the work order. And then when we go to make the addition, there's another double check. And by doing all of these, we make sure that our staff is doing exactly and adding exactly what you want to your wines. We are very, very precise on everything that we do. One of the recent services that we've added is a trucking operation. We're able to haul our clients' case goods to the warehouse. We're also able to pick up glass for clients. We're also doing um, bulk wine. We have a, a 3,000-gallon tanker, so if you need to bring wine into the facility or take wine out of the facility, we're able to do that for you, especially those small lots that you need to bring into the, into the facility. Our service is perfect for clients who want to focus on making great wine but don't want the headaches of owning a winery. Yeah, I actually say I, I love pump overs and I love punch downs, but getting me into a press to clean it is just not the easiest thing in the world to do. And what a place like Laird allows a winemaker to do is, is, is be there and involved for that 20% that's really important and then the other 80% gets well taken care of. And that's that's just what you want. They take care of all that for me. I don't have to get in there and clean anything. I don't have to get in there and sanitize anything. Um, I kind of miss my hands and my feet being a little bit purple, but not having to clean a press, I'm willing to take that. They don't want to fix equipment when it breaks. They don't want to stay up till midnight to clean the press. They don't want to fill out all the government forms. They don't want to apply for certificates of label approval. They don't want to sanitize the bottling line at 6.30 in the morning. We'll do it all for them. Things run as smoothly as they possibly can during what is inevitably a chaotic harvest and everybody does it with a sense of being a great family and um, a sense of togetherness and community that makes the whole, the whole process a real pleasure. And it all works, it really does. 